previously on Vampire. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital as a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Let's get a little recap here. Uh, let's see. Okay, I have analyzed William Bishop's blood, but the result is only partial. The blood sample was much more unstable than human blood and showed heavy mutation, but this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. I need to gather more evidences of what is going on. Time may be on my side, but not on London's. The epidemic is killing thousands of people. The whole city is on the verge of collapse. I'm starting to believe all of this must be connected somehow, but I can't see any pattern or plausible explanation yet. For now, I must play the doctor and try to do my best to help those who may need me while I continue my search. Okay, and so to that end, my current objective is to answer the door. Uh, Nurse Dorothy's out there and she is, uh, yes, getting my attention. So let's see what she wants. Probably I'm going to do some doctoring. Hello, Nurse Dorothy. You need to change your apron. So unsanitary. Okay. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Oh, okay. Uh, let's see... Yeah, this room is off limits. You can't come in. Nurse, this room is off limits, and I'd prefer to keep it that way. Make sure the rest of the staff are so informed. Of course, Doctor. And what about the antiseptics? Or do I inform the staff that you're too busy? I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. Vodka? Whatever do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Okay. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? Not vodka. The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Oh. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Okay. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Okay, so I need to collect... See if I can find a way to make some antiseptics. Uh, all right. What's in here? So have I looked... I didn't really look around the hospital much. I kind of came in here, got settled in my office. I wanted to anal analyze the blood, um, kind of get settled in. Whose office is here? Um, Dr. Tibbetts. It's locked all right. Okay. I don't think I've met any, I don't think I've met any other doctors. What's this? Oh, I used hacksaw. Okay, let's see. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. Um, oh, maybe I can... Let's go see what I've got for weapons and upgrades before I head over to the morgue. I suspect that when I go to a place that stores dead bodies, I may run into some... Although she said it's an old morgue, so I don't know. Well, who knows what I'll find there. All right. Um, all right, weapons. Oh, I have a lot of one-handed weapons. Okay, so I've got this hacksaw. 
which seems pretty brutal. Uh, ooh, Clay's hatchet. A good solid hatchet. Attack speed 10, attack speed 15. Okay, so that used bludgeon is probably not the best, and the used machete is worse. So let's see, attack speed 15. I, you know, I'm betting this used hacksaw is kind of my best bet. Um, but, oh no, and the stamina usage isn't bad, so. Um, let's see what I would need to upgrade it. Um, common handle part and lead plate. So it looks like I only have two of the three needed common handle parts uh, recyclable. Well, that's probably not going to give me a common handle part, but I will recycle it. Okay. So, I can't upgrade it just yet, but I, you know, I am going to equip it. favor that over the axe, I think. Um, these are my offhand weapons. Oh, it looks like I can switch between here. Do I want to have something? I'll, I'll do clays as a backup, I guess. Okay. Wonderful. Alright, I'm now prepared with my nice new hacksaw equipped. So I go visit the morgue. This looks like, uh, ooh. Yeah, this hospital's quite messy. Blood everywhere. Crap on the floor. Just broken boxes everywhere. I guess that's kind of just the state of things. This is what happens when a hospital gets overrun, boys and girls. Okay. Uh, outside. Okay. Let's head down the street here. Now, is it in here? There's not an entrance over here. There's a building behind the hospital. What's this poster? Ah, uh, prevent influenza. Cover each cough and sneeze with handkerchief. Walk to work. Do not spit. Drink from your own cup. Avoid crowds. If taken ill, go to bed and send for a doctor. To make a mask, take a piece of ordinary cheesecloth. 8 by 16 inches. Fold it to make it 8 by 8 inches. Next, fold this to make it 8 by 4 inches. The cords about 10 inch. The cords about 10 inches long at each corner. Apply over mouth and nose, as shown in the picture. Yeah. Wear a mask, people. Um, is this the old morgue? No. Okay, I do have a sort of a quest marker, so it's back here. That door would undoubtedly take me back into the hospital. Okay, so this is the uh, narrow street. And there's the door. Scour voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Okay. Oh, shotgun shells. Looks like I'm going to be getting a shotgun eventually, although I haven't taken a liking to guns in this game as yet. Dazzled Skull. Okay. Okay. Fighting me. Oh, 
there's a couple of them. Ooh, they've got me cornered. Okay, how do I get out of the corner? Okay, I guess I need to kind of force my way out. Get some blood. Ah, oh boy. These guys are tough. Let's kill this guy. Whew. All right, I'm gonna have to heal back some blood. Okay. All right, that's a little better. Uh, another blood sample. So this is the guy they were eating. Okay, what's this? Another blood sample for me. Ooh, a lead stick. That's a upgrade component, I believe. Or is this the guy they were eating? Photograph. Oh, photography in a wallet. A photograph of a smiling and loving couple with a few words written on the back, Milton and Peppa forever. Okay. A new citizen investigation is available. All right. See, bring back the wallet to its owner. Track. Okay. I found a wallet in the garden nearby the Pembroke Hospital. Probably lost here by its owner, Milton. I'm sure he'll be glad to get it back. Okay, so now I have a quest to find the owner of that wallet. Now, my, my question is, have I untracked the main... Okay, so this is the main quest... Okay. And then this area seems to be where the other quest is. Okay. So on my map, this is still where to go. To the morgue. All right, so I'm guessing I'm gonna find more skull in here while I'm looking for components of antiseptic. Okay, the old morgue. Um, I need to find some ferrous tartrate, some quinine, and some sodium hypochlorite. All right. Yeah, this place is kind of messy, too, so I'm guessing I don't come in here super often. All right. Okay, but somebody comes in here because we've got a kind of a light there. Okay, this door goes out to the street, it would appear. Um, that's like an old used mattress. I wonder if, uh, yeah, it looks like people squat in here. I don't know if they're people proper or if, uh, it's like a skull's nest. been in here. Okay, that's locked. So I can't get down to the basement. End. Anything revealing in here? It's kind of a I guess a surgical kit there. Looks like a lab. Oh, 
some money. I don't know when I'm going to be able to buy things, but... Um, I'm certain I will eventually. Alright, so it appears on my map that upstairs is where I'm going to find the ingredients that I want. The uh, quest objectives there seem to be indicating... Let's see what we've got on this floor. Seem to be indicating they're up here. Alright, there's one skull. Yeah, he'll come for me. Okay. That's suboptimal for sure. Okay, here's my first item. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Okay, so I found some iron, tar iron tartrate. Good. So I still need to find a key to the basement. And sodium hypochlorite and quinine. So I'm guessing those two items are going to be in the basement. All right. Um. Yeah, I wonder if the well, if I follow the blood, if it will lead me to where the skull are currently. I don't know how many are in here. Maybe it was just the one. Okay, that's my quinine. Lots of bodies. Okay. That's locked. That doesn't open. Some alcohol. What's this? this key Aha! Surely grant me access to the basement. Okay, so I suspect if that's the morgue proper is down there, that is likely where I'll find a lot of the skull. So I only found one up here. Oh! You bite me, I'll bite you back. I'm hoping to stun this one again. There we go, wanted to bite him one more time. I feel like I need to pay a little more attention to the footsteps running up on me. All right. That one definitely startled me. Okay, so looks like my last remaining ingredient is going to be the sodium hypochlorate, which, chloride, which is going to be in the basement, but I'm just going to check the upper floor as well here before I go to the basement. Let's see. More blood. Okay, it looks like these doors. That yep, that's everything up here. Okay, that was quick. All right, so let's check the basement, which will undoubtedly. Oh, wow. I bet, uh, 
Did he go downstairs? Perhaps. Let's put my senses on. Okay, there's one there. There seems to be one in there. Rogue skull. Resistant to ranged. So guns, not the not ideal. Still one in the other room. Yep. Okay. These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not after blood. Hmm. So are they eating? Is they're eating flesh? That's that's alarming. shot kill. Okay, so I'm still looking for uh, my last ingredient for antiseptics. Whoa. Ah, some shillings. This is interesting. I don't have a light source to use in this game as yet, so... I can pick up with my vampire sense. It looks like we've got a skull over in that direction. Oh dear. Alright. Is that... I'm assuming this person is dead. Although the lights are on. Oh yeah, that, that person's dead. That's locked. Used to list a knife. You just acquired a new type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press triangle to directly absorb blood. Hmm. That, uh... That ought to be useful. wonder how much blood it absorbs. Okay, this is a death report. Samuel Connor. Male, 39. Fisherman. Cause of death, natural. The probable cause of death, fast progressing pneumonia by virus-induced pulmonary consolidation. Spanish flu. Okay, so we had Nurse Brannigan and Dr. Tippett's on this case. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Oh... Let's see. Uh, damaged arms and legs. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. Certainly not a flu symptom. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Hmm. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. Then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. 
It's time we talked. Oh. All right, well, I'm not sure. I'm guessing the anesthetic error caused the foam at the lips. Uh, that doesn't necessarily explain the abrasions, but it does explain why the chest cavity was infiltrated twice. So, yeah, it's definitely something to talk to Tippets about, I would imagine. Uh, I think this is where I came from. Check my vampire sense. Skull in there. Okay. I love that blood spear. It's definitely. Good way to start a fight. Okay, so that's this room. But I hadn't made it over to this side of it when I was in here before. So I left back the way I came. Okay, so. A lot of doors to the same place here. There's tartrate and quinine. Alright, my final objective is through here. Let's see what we've got. I'm not detecting any skull. Oh! Oh, he appeared. Oh, no. Okay. blood for this fight. Yeah, what I should be doing is uh, using that um, should be using that knife that I found that gives me blood directly. sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. But to drink blood is so tempting. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. All right. Perfect. So, uh, that person I was fighting was John Doe. So, yeah, likely someone who was sent to the morgue and, uh, became a skull. Okay, there's nothing there. Um, an enig enigmatic formula. All right. What else might be up here? Okay, can't go through that door. Oh, workbench. Oh, yeah, I did pick up Let's see. This formula written on a piece of paper seems complex and needs to be analyzed. Let's analyze it. All right, so let's see what we've got down here. These are things that I can make. Uh, a light blood serum regenerates 60 blood points. 
and then a light regeneration serum regenerates 300 health points instantly then 150 health points that seems like a good good serum to have um, and then I have treatments over here fatigue okay it looks like I can create treatments and give them to citizens if they need them but I'm gonna going to craft myself a regeneration serum that's for sure all right I've also wonder if I picked up the part to upgrade my hacksaw nope I didn't what about my axe no okay Ooh, I can upgrade this. Um, level two. Uh, level one is a 10 stun. Attack speed 10, stamina 30. So this increases the stun. You know what? I'm not gonna do that just yet because I think I need a lead stick to upgrade this. Oh no, I need lead plate. Okay, I will. I will in that case. Uh, well, actually, I haven't. I need common handle part. Eight blood absorption. I wonder if that might be better than the stunning and the biting. The biting does more damage. Okay, I have to consider these things before I do any upgrades. I can do that at my my office. All right, uh, so it doesn't look like there's a way to exit the morgue from up here. So I'll make my way out. So now I have two. In addition to this, I have a quest to confront one of the doctors about a botched operation and also a I okay oh, okay uh, so botched operation and then also a quest to return a wallet It's like some skull have appeared in my during my trip downstairs. Okay, there's one in there. Okay. Oh now there's one here. Okay, let's get him first. Bit me. Okay. Oh, another watch. Okay. All right. Oh, you know, I have a serum two that restores my health so I should remember that okay let's see so I'm a little bit low on blood but my health is good so that's something all right so I have to bring back a wallet to its owner and craft the treatment for fatigue is okay that's an objective that I probably did I have that already or did I pick that up inside the morgue 
Um, all right, let's head back to the hospital. Ooh, a small bag of junk, just what I always wanted. Hospital full, please go back home. Is this a nurse? Ooh, a long letter. Alright, I'll save that for later. Ah, Pippa Hawkins. Oh, Pippa. Um, can I talk to her? Yeah, I think she evening, might nurse. be in the evening, photo. Doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. It's a euphemism? What does that mean? Um, okay, let's see. Personal questions. Leaving this hospital. Uh, why would I ask her that? Peppa, are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. I want more. I want to make things change. Oh, I wonder if that was in that letter that I decided to save till later. The patients need you. We're in the middle of a pandemic. But you're doing something important here. For all the patients who need your help. We save lives, sure. Each time we send a cured patient home, it's a relief beyond words. But since the epidemic, I feel so powerless. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, reasonable that you would be feeling a little overwhelmed by this. Um, let's see, how is the rest of the staff coping? How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual. Milton. Especially concerning doctors. Ah, uh, I think he's the one with the... Oh, was it both of these in the picture? Wait, I can... Let's see. Um... Hmm. Is this... Okay, it looks like I haven't met Milton yet. Okay. Um, why is Milton so grumpy? Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Ah. And why especially the practitioners? Why does Milton dislike doctors? Well, I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned, Milton is not the chatty type. Okay, fair warning. I think I have his wallet, though. Uh, so how long have you been a nurse? How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. Um... Yeah, that's probably accurate. You're right. When dealing with such a terrible disease, one must remain humble. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. <sighs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Well, you don't have to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Um... Yeah, why don't you tell me exactly what the situation here is like? How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Yeah, you need to be wearing a mask. We all do. Um, it won't last forever. Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish flu won't last forever. 
Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? Um... That's, yeah, that's going a little far. Let's dial you back from the whole end of the world attitude. You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. <sighs> Sorry, I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. All right, uh, let's see what options we have for her life in London. Okay. Looks like we got all of that. Okay, I think we're done here. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Mm, it's interesting. So I guess I need to assume that... Well, actually, let me look at that picture. I thought it said Milton and, and Pippa, but I'm wondering if I'm just thinking that because those are the people that I saw. Um, can I look at the photo again? Eh. Oh, here's my inventory. I went right by it before. Let's see. Watch. Yeah, I, I should have read that long letter, it looks like. Okay, I don't see... Ah, oh, photography in a wallet. Mil yeah, Milton and Pippa. Okay. So they're dating. Yeah, I wonder why I wasn't able to ask her about that. Uh, let's take a look at her letter. I'll do a, a quick quick read of it. Let's see. Uh, hello, sis. How, th how are things in the big city? Here in Brum, things are not so good. It seems the flu is here again, and we have many new cases of infection in the neighborhood. Do you remember Mrs. Scheller, the old <clears throat> drinking hag from the third floor? She passed away two days ago, and her flat is already occupied again. Geez, you would have to pay me a huge amount of money to go to sleep in the bed in which a woman died of the flu just a few hours ago. Yeah, for real. Uh, sorry I did not take time to quickly answer your last letter. Between taking care of little Paul, mum, dad, and my job at the factory, I really found time to write to my favorite sister. By the way, my son says hello to his auntie Pippa. You should see the little bugger already driving me mad, and mum says you bring back some of those marvelous cakes the next time you come back home. In your last letter, you told me you thought about quitting your job at the Pembroke Hospital. I have to tell you, Pip, you better think twice. There are always jobs at the factory, but wages are shit, and it's boring as a day without a shag. Oh, I have a new fiancé, and no, I'm no slut, you moral bitch, you. <laughs> so if you really want to quit and do something more useful than counting the dead every morning, maybe you better stay in London and join that band you told me about. The Guard or Priven, something like that. Never heard of them. But if they are like you said, some sort of civil militia trying to make a difference, then maybe it's a good choice for you. Just be sure to let the others go in front. That's how my poor Billy got killed in France, by leading too many patrols. Bloody war. Anyway, come back as soon as you can and give me the good news before that. Oh, interesting. So, the guard, or pr this says Priven, but I wonder if... Pip has been approached by Prewen, who are vampire hunters. Okay. Uh, well, that makes her a potential candidate for eating, I would say. Um, alright. <clears throat> so I should see if I can find Milton, then. Um... Let's see who's this. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a That's colleague. Not sir. Milton. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague. Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Jadana. Now I'm just Mr. Jadana, pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Okay, so he's running the morgue. Uh, and has a little pawn, pawn shop. Alright, what can I talk to you about? Uh, tell me about this pawn shop of yours, because I have been picking up shillings. A pawnbroker? 
I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Uh, yeah, who, who do you sell to? Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. Well, that seems pretty unlikely, uh, but give me a rundown of your goods. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade, I exchange. Some people sell, some others buy. I like to help. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm sort of wondering, he mentioned that he was glad that I was here and that it was rumored I was dead, perhaps. So maybe he knows me. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. Oh. You were missing, and she was looking for your oh. body. Oh. She must be very relieved. She now. is not relieved, Rakesh. She is not relieved. Oh, boy. Um. Yeah, do you work here alone? Seems like it's a lot of bodies for one person to process. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Mm, yeah, why isn't the morgue open? This seems like a bad time to not have a morgue. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so we aren't keeping them around. We need to get rid of them. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Um, and why do the bodies need to be supervised? Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Hmm. All right, I'm going to, let's see, at the top it says L1, mesmerize, press L2 for details. So I do want to see what that says. Okay, so I believe that first number one is my mesmerize level. And four represents his level of resistance, possibly. So he would not be somebody that I want to try to eat. All right, and let's get our details. Social circles, no relationships. Um, okay, so he's over here. All right, we've got Pippa and Milton down here. Tippets. I trying to remember if I spoke to him, but I did find out that he screwed up a surgery so I will have to find him eventually. Alright, I think here's what I'm going to do. Um, well, let me see what he has to sell first. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Uh, Alright, so Ferris Tartrate. So, okay, so, uh, codeine, opium. Okay, so these are all drugs that I can buy and I'm assuming probably used to uh, make serums and such um, okay so what I'm gonna do at the moment though is I'm gonna go up to my office and evolve and then I'm also going to see if I have any oh wait did I get lost on the way to my office Oh, yeah, I think the front door is around here. So I want to take care of that before I do anything else. Oh, I'm so interested that Pippa might might be involved with Prewin or thinking about getting involved with Prewin. Uh, all right. Uh, I think my office is back here. Go out this way? Does not appear so. Okay. 
That would be handy. I think because I think I just passed under here. Maybe. I'm not certain about that. Uh, anyway, let's uh, see what we can do upgrade wise. All right, I'm supposed to craft a treatment for fatigue, but I don't have any sodium hypochlorite solution. Oh God, I wonder if I, yeah, I probably used it when I made that serum. Uh, so I think the doctor had some for sale, but what I want to do is see if I can upgrade my hacksaw. If I got, no, I still need a common handle part. All right, so uh, on my list for after I evolve will be to go down and talk to the doctor, not the doctor, I can't remember, I've already forgotten his name, uh, and get some of that material I need to make the fatigue uh, recipe. Next time on Vampire.